Assassin's Mixer, a production. What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. Some of you may have noticed that I took last week off. Um, I have been feeling really under the weather the last couple of days. Hoping it's not the worst, but uh, just, you know, trying to rest, drink lots of water, all that stuff. However, this is definitely a video that I could not resist doing for a couple of reasons. Number one, I wanted to review this deck since I heard it was coming out. Number two, I actually am employed at the company that produces this deck, so, so I figure with those two reasons working against me, there's no way I could avoid this review. And today we are taking a look at the new Cherry Casino Flamingo Quartz playing cards. So if you're not familiar, the Cherry Casino playing cards are produced by Pure Imagination Projects. Really awesome company, they put out a lot of great cards. I'm not just saying that because I work there, it's just true. And this is the most recent release from Pure Imagination, and it was highly, highly anticipated. Um, Cherry Casinos are definitely a staple deck of playing cards in the Cardistry and Magic community. Everybody's got them, everybody knows them, and for good reason. They definitely deserve the, uh, the props that they get. Before we get started, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. All right, now I guess technically this would be considered, I think like V9 of the Cherry Casinos playing cards, but uh, if you're not familiar, uh, basically this deck comes in a lot of different colors. It started off with a very nice teal color. There was a couple iterations of that, and there was black, blue, red, green. Uh, recently there was purple, uh, and now we have this pink one. And I have to say, just by looking at the tuck, this is probably gonna be my favorite colorway yet. The tuck box is done in completely pink metallic ink. As you can see, it just wraps around the entire tuck. The front and back are a borderless representation of the back design of the cards. Both sides of the deck say Cherry Casino in this very vintage casino style font. The bottom has some ad copy about Pure Imagination and Murphy's Magic. And there is nothing on the top and nothing on the inside. So very minimalistic tuck box, very consistent with what you would see in an actual casino but I can't wait anymore, so let's check out the cards. Ooh. All right, very nice back design as you can see. It is a pink, kind of like rose gold color. This definitely looks like something that uh, that iPhone would do. <laughs> like it looks like the same color as the rose gold iPhone, um, but it's beautiful metallic ink, very reflective. For a while, I thought it would be cool to see some flat colors back on the Cherry Casinos, the non-metallics, but for this pink, I think it really, really works. It's got fairly thin white borders, and then you can see there's cherries in each corner, and it kind of has this swoosh that breaks the border. Kind of very similar to what we saw in like the Orbit V4. These came first, but uh, what happens is it breaks the border so you can see it kind of cross through the fan. I really love this pink color, and I think too, we're seeing a lot of pink decks right now, but we're not seeing any pink metallics. So this is really nice. It's a good way to, to still stay with what's trendy while doing something different. All right, this is what your Ace of Spades looks like. Very, very casino-esque, also very Cherry Casino-esque. <laughs> it's the same Ace of Spades that you see on all of the Cherry Casino decks. It just features an enlarged spade pip. It says Cherry Casino with uh, two sets of cherries inside the pip. It does have custom index, and then you can see it says Litho in USA. It just means made in USA. Really, really nice and simple, love it. All right, you also get your standard Cherry Casino Jokers just as you would see them in an actual casino. It says compliments of, and then it has the Cherry Casino logo, East Las Vegas, Nevada. 
And then I also love that it says jackpot in each corner instead of Joker. I really, really like that. Um, in fact, this came in handy if you saw the trailer for these. All right, now in terms of ad cards and gaff cards, you are gonna get a double backer, which can be used for a lot of magic effects. Very, very easy gaff card to use. And um, I do have a video on three ways you can use a double backer if you're interested. And as well, you get a blank card. And now this can be used as a cut card or you can do like a blank fan. Um, there's a lot of like card eraser sequences you can do. So uh, this can be used for a lot of different things, poker, magic, um, so definitely handy. All right, now the rest of the faces in this deck are bicycle standard, but with a little bit of a twist. So let's talk about it. The pips, indices, and orientation of the faces are completely bicycle standard. The only difference being that the red has been swapped out from bright red to a nice dark metallic red. And the use of red metallic ink on all of the court cards really complement and help it pop against that yellow and blue. Now, I love seeing standard court cards on standard-ish decks, especially if it's something casino style, you wanna make sure you have those um, very standard looking faces because the idea is that you're representing a casino and there's no way a casino is gonna use customized faces. But I do like the addition of matching the red from the cherry on the back to uh, what's on the faces. I think that looks really, really good. And especially because uh, this deck is kind of a darker tone, it's a darker pink very metallic, you don't want something nice and bright and flat, just kind of uh, overly contrasting or taking away from the aesthetic of the deck. Ooh. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about how these cards look. So let's switch angles and talk about how they handle. All right, so in terms of handling, uh, these cards are printed on crushed premium paper stock by the United States Playing Card Company. Uh, so they feel really, really good. The last uh, two or three cherry decks were printed on casino stock that weren't crushed. Uh, so these feel a lot thinner than those. Uh, very similar to like the Tahoe blue cherries or the black cherries if you have those. But if not, they feel a lot like the Orbit playing cards, uh, which feel phenomenal. So that should give you a pretty good idea of what you're in for with this deck. As you can see, the cards fan really well. You get that nice border break that really makes your fan interesting. Um, I, I like that a lot, and I think that for the Cherry Casinos, it's kind of an iconic thing, right, is that is that fan with that white ribbon through it. The cards spring very easily, not having any issues. These cards do feel very thin, which I really like. Is that new dribble sound. One more time. Nice. Now, something that I really love about the Cherry Casino decks is the versatility of what you can get out of it. So um, because of the standard faces and the kind of minimalistic back design, this deck is really perfect for things like magic. Um, it adds a little bit more flavor uh, to the aesthetic. You know, it's, it's a little bit prettier, I guess, than like a, a standard deck of bicycles that everyone's seen before. But also your cuts and flourishes look really, really good with that pink metallic, I think is really interesting. Even the most basic flourishes can look really nice, and I love the way these cards catch light. Looks so good. The cards definitely fare best from bottom to top. Here's what the cards look like under pressure. One more time. Beautiful. Snappiness check. Woo. Nice and snappy. Uh, these feel actually very, very similar to uh, like the Orbit decks. So if you like the way those feel, I definitely do. Um, that's that's definitely what you're in for. Yeah, I like it. Nice, thin, crushed paper stock. Feels really good. I'm sure these will last a long time. And uh, pretty, pretty stoked. So there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. Thank you for watching today's episode and my review of the new Cherry Casino Flamingo Quartz Pink playing cards by Pure Imagination. Big shout out to my boss, Derek McKee. Uh, this deck is sick, definitely did a good job. Looking forward to all the projects that we have coming. So if you guys aren't already uh, following us on Instagram, I will leave all of our information below. That's my information, that's Derek's information, that's Pure Imagination's information. Pure Imagination information. <laughs> Well, wow. but follow us. Uh, we do have a lot of projects lined up that I am super excited about. <coughs> I'm gonna go check a bottle of Dayquil, but I hope you guys will consider liking, subscribing, following us on Instagram, all that fun stuff. With all that being said, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. I know I will.
<laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.